आई थिंक वो सब लोग ज्वाइन हो गए ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फ्लूइड एंड द टाइप ऑफ फ्लूइड फ्लूइड फ्लो अनबॉन्डेड फ्लो और सरफेस इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सटर्नल फ्लो फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूइड इन पाइप और नर्व पे इज कॉल्ड एज इंटरनल फ्लो दिस एंड पास रिवीजन रिवाइजिंग द प्रीवियस क्लास लेक्चर the density of fluid flow is uh, it, it is constant then it is incompressible compressible flow your density is very uh, with the fluid flow then there is compressible flow if no change in the flow with time there is a steady flow and if the flow is changing with the time there is unsteady flow and if the flow is in between steady and unsteady flow that is called as transient uh, periodic flow Depending on the flow properties, changing in direction, one-dimensional, two-dimensional, three-dimensional flow, as per the change in the direction, and smooth layer flow is called as linear flow. The drop flow or eddies are forming and mixing between the layer is there. Then that type of flow is called as turbulent uh, flow. Okay. Also, we have seen the sub basics, dimension and base units of uh, in previous class. Uh, Work length, mass, time, temperature. And the RSI units, and then also we are seeing the dimensions of the derived unit, that is velocity, acceleration, force, pressure, density, etc. And also we are seeing uh, the multiple of the units with respect to the meter, uh, then tera tends to the power twelve to the eco tends to the power minus twelve. We are seeing. Tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto tends to the power of two. Deka tends to the power of one. Okay. Deci tends to the power of minus one. Centi tends to minus two. Mini tends to minus three. Micro tends to minus six. And nano tends to minus nine. And pico tends to minus twelve. Tera tends to the power of twelve. And pico tends to the power of minus two. Okay. Then some important uh, unit prefix. K should be minimum for kg or kilogram per meter. K for kilo and m for meter, capital M. Okay, so one kilometer is equal to one thousand newton. Okay. Uh, if you write the K and small n, this symbol is used for the north and imperial measure of the speed. And if both K and M are capital, there is no need. And if K and M both are small, then kilogram of shear will be less. Okay. Also, this means the physical properties of flow that is density. Density of is nothing but mass per unit volume, K is per cubic meter. The specific volume with respect to the uh, reverse of your, okay, you can say the density that is uh, volume per unit mass, volume per unit mass. And specific gravity is the relation of uh, that. Specific gravity is uh, the ratio of the density of the substance to the density of the water. Or you can say that the weight of the substance in water is called as a specific uh, uh, gravity, and specific weight uh, that is the weight unit volume of the substance that is uh, denoted by uh, gamma or uh, gamma and That is nothing but rho into g. Rho is the uh, density, and g is the specific. Uh, uh, sorry, g is the gravitational acceleration. Uh, okay. Then the mass density, the unit of uh, unit mass of water, one thousand kg per cubic meter, and mercury is one thirteen thousand five hundred forty six kg per cubic meter. Air is one point two three kg per cubic meter. And parabolic is 800 kg per cubic meter uh, of mass density of different substances on given uh, meter. So once again, this already we have studied this and uh, related to the density of the part, the density of the substance to the density of the water. Now here we will see the, uh, the viscosity. What is the viscosity? So in, in fluid, uh, uh, fluid mechanics, you know, we are studying uh, 
uh, the fluid. Fluid it may be in the form of gas, it, it may be in but generally in our real uh, uh, life example we are mostly the uh, water or the liquids so you can consider this uh, for the liquid. So viscosity of fluid determines the Say that the fluid is flowing in a layer, so if you can see that the fluid is here, the upper layer uh, is moving and the resistance uh, to the upper, upper layer, uh, the lower layer, nothing but uh, resistance, and that resistance uh, of, uh, to the flow uh, is called as viscosity. Is called as viscosity. The viscosity uh, of liquid division at temperature increases and usually not at the pressure change. The viscosity of the liquid is generally increased. The Newton's law of viscosity, uh, just here is a by the rate of change of uh, velocity. So for, uh, for, uh, for understanding the viscosity properly, uh, you can see this example. Viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offers resistance to the movement of one layer of the fluid over another additional layer of the fluid. So here, here in the end you can see the figure 1.1. So there are many books you can refer uh, on the hydraulics and fluid mechanics by P.M. Modi and uh, Dr. Essence and Dr. R.K. Bansal also. The books are available in the this is from the book of the Archivalson. The viscosity is defined as the property of fluid which offer resistance to the movement of one layer of fluid over another additional layer of the fluid. So if you consider two layers of the fluid, if you consider two layer of fluid, in this case, one layer and this one is the another layer of fluid. Okay, when two layer of fluid at a distance of dy, this distance of dy, uh, a part move one over the other at different velocity. Say the velocity of the lower uh, is a lower layer, you can say velocity is u, and velocity of upper layer is u plus uh, du. That is the difference. Okay, the velocity of our layer is u plus du as shown in figure because the velocity of upper layer is higher than the velocity of the lower layer. The viscosity together with the relative velocity causes a shear stress. So this will cause the shear stress uh, of movement of the two layer because the viscosity uh, uh, trying to uh, slow down the uh, uh, speed or movement of, uh, of the uh, liquid. Okay, so with relative velocity causes a shear stress acting between the fluid layer. So between two fluid layer, there is uh, you can say, I will, uh, this, if you consider these two layers are there, this is one layer and the another layer, it, it, it between this, there is viscosity that, uh, that is opposing the motion or resistance to the movement of the liquid. And that is uh, nothing but it is uh, termed as the uh, shear stress acting between the, the, these two layers. The top layer causes the shear stress on the addition lower layer, which why the lower layer causes a shear stress on the addition uh, top layer. Addition top layer. So I will request all the students they should join on time so that there should not be disturbance in the classes. In between uh, the time already, uh, I think so, 20 minutes pass, and still the 
the students are ready for so high education. All the students they should join on time so that our lecture will not be done. Okay. So here you have seen the moment of one layer to another. In between there is a shear stress. The moment of upper layer, yeah, uh, uh, it will uh, causes a shear stress to the lower layer. And why the lower layer causes a shear stress on the adjacent top layer? This shear stress is proportional to the rate of change of velocity with respect to y. With respect to y. With respect to y. With respect to y means with respect to head. Okay. Why is the head? Okay. It is denoted by the symbol tau. It is denoted by the symbol tau. So what it says that your tau, any yani stress, is proportional to the rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity. Okay. Okay. The rate of change of velocity, if you be with respect to y, we can denote by du by du by this rate of change of velocity here that is du by dy okay the rate of change of velocity is nothing but a du by dy where where the tau here is change is nothing but mu times du by dy what is mu the mu is called is the constant of proportionality as is known as coefficient of dynamic viscosity so what is mu mu is the coefficient of coefficient of, of dynamic 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 viscosity viscosity and it is generally called as viscosity okay so du by dy it represents the rate of shear strain or rate of shear deformation or velocity gradient so this du by dy is called as rate of shear strain it is called as shear rate of shear deformation or also it is called as velocity gradient so you can term any term you can use shear strain or rate of shear strain or rate of shear deformation or uh, velocity gradient why why shear strain if you look at the solid then solid will resist the shear stress okay in case of solid if solid material is there it will re resist the uh, shear stress but here here in, in case of liquid there is continuous deformation because shear stress is very uh, less and the continuous deformation of the liquid takes place that that's why this shear stress yani the tau is uh, proportional to the rate of shear strain uh, not the uh, change in the uh, or uh, or the shear strain it is not related with the shear stress in case of solid uh, there is some resistance and it is uh, uh, it is depend on the shear strain but in case of liquid it is uh, uh, represented uh, that the du by dy and the du by dy, uh, dy represents the rate of shear strain or rate of shear deformation because the liquid uh, it continue continuous deformation okay and uh, it is also termed as the velocity gradient that the viscosity is also defined as shear stress required to produce unit shear strain the viscosity you can also define as shear stress required this is the shear stress tau is the shear stress and required to produce a unit rate of shear strain required to produce unit rate of shear strain it is called as viscosity and it is denoted by mu and mu is generally termed as dynamic uh, viscosity okay so newton's law of viscosity it is uh, nothing but tau is equal to uh, mu times du by dy if you are du by dy is unit then tau is equal to mu okay if that is uh, and that type of fluid uh, if, 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 if that type of fluid is there then that fluid is called as in tau is is called one it is called as neutral fluid okay so mu already we have seen is tau upon du upon dy that is shear stress is uh, divided by rate of shear strain that is nothing but it is the ratio of uh, uh, the 
shear stress to the rate of shear stress. Okay, so here you can see there are uh, there, there is a diagram uh, rate of uh, deformation that is du dy and the shear stress. Okay, if this it is professional, it, it means that the rate of shear distress, yeah, 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 you can say that the tau is proportional to du by dy. So this type, uh, this, this is nothing but uh, this Newtonian fluid. So this is called a Newtonian uh, fluid. But if this, this, this uh, is called as ideal fluid, so ideal fluid, fluid generally doesn't exist uh, in real life. Ideal fluid, and this is called as dilaton and and pseudo plastic. If above the Newtonian fluid is there, and Bingham plastic, Bingham Bingham plastic, if 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 the shear stress is uh, large. So, though it, it, based on the shear deformation rate and shear stress, if it is proportional, shear stress proportional to rate of this, then that fluid is called a Newtonian fluid. So, for non Newtonian fluids, apparent viscosity view, the slope at particular deformation rate is used. So, this slope is changing. You, you see the dilator, their slope is different, this slope is different, and it can go for the wing plastic that is uh, the slope is uh, different. So if increase of mu with increase of deformation rate, increase of mu, the value of mu, if it is increases, that is the diameter viscosity, then shear thickening fluid is there and that is called as dilaton. That is called as dilaton. Okay? Dilaton. So in, if increase of mu with increase uh, uh, increase of mu with increase of deformation rate then shear thickening fluid is there shear thickening fluid is there and that fluid is called as dilaton fluid okay so based on this graph you can uh, differentiate the different fluids uh, newtonian fluid when shear tau shear stress and shear strain rate of shear strain is proportional and uh, dilaton uh, means with increase of mu, with increase the deformation rate, the shear thickening fluid, it is called as shear thickening fluid and that is called as dilaton. Uh, the solution with suspended starch or sand. The solution with the suspended starch is uh, called as the uh, dilaton fluid. Then decrease of mu, if mu is decrease of mu is there, uh, shear stress is large as cause of rate uh, rate of shear stress. Uh, with increase of deformation rate, with increase of deformation, shear thinning of fluid is done. So if you come here uh, uh, below the this uh, uh, Newtonian, the shear thickening will take place. Above this, it is the shear thinning will take place. Okay, if there thin shear thinning is there, what happened? Uh, decrease of mu. With increase of deformation rate, shear thinning, and that is called as pseudo plastic. Uh, it is an example of paint uh, we are using for homes and polymer solution, etc. They are nothing but shear thinning fluids, and they are called as pseudo plastic. They are called as pseudo plastic. Their P is silent. So we we'll, uh, write down P must be is the silent, and this is called as pseudo plastic. Is called as pseudo plastic if shear thinning fluids are there. Then another one, if more shear thinning is the it is called as Lingham plastic, resist a finite, finite shear stress and then deform continuously where the shear stress exceeds the yield stress. Uh, in case of we are using the toothpaste, is the best example for the Lingham uh, plastic. Okay, so resist a finite shear stress and then deform continuously where the shear stress exceeds the end stress and that is called as the wing of plastic. So if you will see the Newtonian fluid, the shear stress rate is uniform. Okay, so mu is uh, uh, changing uniform rate. 
and for non neutrinian fluids so there are how many types first if the uh, mu is increasing the formation rate and shear thickness uh, of, of the fluid is there then that is called as dilatant but in case of shear thinning that mu, mu is decreases mu is nothing but your uh, viscosity uh, dynamic viscosity or simply viscosity so if the uh, mu is decreases with increase of deformation rate then increase of deformation rate then shear thinning will uh, take, takes place and that is termed as seroplastic okay the, the best example for the seroplastic is paint and polymer okay so first one we have seen the shear thinning that is dilatant okay mu is increasing okay but if shear thinning is takes place uh, in non neutrinian fluid uh, shear thinning is takes place then that is called as seroplastic the example is paint and polymer and another uh, in the plastic uh, uh, resist the financial stress as they start and then continuous deformation where shear stress exceeds the AD stress and that is called as uh, that's the best example of Bingham plastic is the best here. Okay, so this is what uh, about the viscosity of uh, 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 of the fluid. Okay, this is the viscosity of fluid and the Newton's of law of viscosity is nothing but tau is uh, tau is uh, you can say the proportional to du upon dy and that's why tau is, is equal to mu times uh, du upon dy and if you write down mu in terms of viscosity or dynamic viscosity mu, mu is equal to tau upon du upon dy where uh, du upon uh, dy is the rate of shear strain and uh, tau is the uh, shear strain and tau is the shear stress tau is the shear stress okay so in solid and liquid you know that there is different solid it resists the shear stress okay but liquid it doesn't resist the shear stress and the continuous deformation is there and now from the adhesive fluid to the neutrinian fluid and another non neutrinian fluid shear thickening and shear thinning fluid we have seen the examples and types now we will come to the unit of viscosity unit of viscosity what is the unit of viscosity the unit of viscosity is after the the putting the dimension of the quantities of equation so unit of viscosity it is mu you know so what we have seen here mu is equal to tau upon du upon dy what is tau tau is the shear stress and du upon dy change of velocity to the change of change of distance or change of head change of velocity that is du and divided by change of change of distance or head you can say is dy you can write out the shear stress is force upon area force upon area is the shear stress this is the tau okay and change of velocity is nothing but what is the velocity then meter per second so meter per second if you write the velocity the length upon length upon time in, in dimension if you write length upon time is the unit of viscosity a change in distance with it is again the length so one upon length okay so write the unit of viscosity so above shear stress force upon area the force is we are measuring in newton the newton force 
मीटर
think also it can be first. So you can see here carbon dioxide region as the temperature increase, the pressure increase over drop viscosity is also increasing. That is absorbed viscosity new newton second per meter square. Kerosene top of the temperature increase over the viscosity increase over it. Okay. So likewise, uh, as the temperature increases, the viscosity is increasing in liquid, but in gases, the, as the temperature increases, the viscosity of the uh, gases increases. So that's it. Uh, you can also do the experiment, you can also do the uh, experiment for different liquid, and that in is, that is the first experiment we will see uh, when we start the Okay. Now, this is the generalized law of viscosity. Uh, that tau is equal to tau is equal to tau is equal to a plus b into rate of change of uh, velocity with respect to head to the power n. This is the generalized law of viscosity. So we have derived the law of behavior of fluid that means our experience shows that there are non-union fluids that follow up. Generalized law of viscosity. This is for the for the non 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 Ukrainian 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 fluids. Okay. This is applicable for for the non Ukrainian fluid. This generalized law of viscosity. Where A, B, and N are constant found experimentally when plotted with fluids so much different area uh, to the Ukrainian. Now, what is the dynamic viscosity? Now, just, just now we have studied the dynamic viscosity. Okay, what is the dynamic viscosity? Okay. What is the dynamic viscosity? So, dynamic viscosity uh, is generally it is denoted by the Greek word, Greek word that is mu. The ratio of dynamic viscosity to mass density is known as dynamic viscosity. The ratio of the ratio of mass density, mass density we are generally denoted by uh, rho. The ratio of dynamic viscosity to the mass density. The dynamic viscosity we are denoted by the mu and, the, and rho is the mass density. Okay? So that is mu upon rho is nothing but it is not, nothing but the dynamic thick viscosity. If you find out the dimension of this, so mu you know newton second per meter square and rho is mass upon length, mass upon length, mass in lizard in. So if we write in the dimension, mass is measured in this is kg per meter cube, so meter cube per kg. And Newton is uh, the force, F is nothing but mass into acceleration. F is nothing but mass into acceleration. Okay? So force, that is the force. Okay. So if we will write in dimension, so Newton second any force into time divided by length. Okay? And length is square. Meter is square means length is square. Length is square. Okay? And in denominator, mass upon length mass upon length two is the your so mass upon length q length two and here force is is, is, is nothing but mass into Mass into acceleration. Mass into acceleration. And acceleration is nothing but 
मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर यानी लेंथ लेंथ अपॉन लेंथ अपॉन नो यू एक्सीलेशन इज मीटर स्क्वायर पर सेकंड तो लेंथ स्क्वायर अपॉन टाइम If you write properly, so it will come length square upon time. The so unit of this uh, kinetic viscosity is, is possible. It is the meter square per second. Meter square per second. Okay, and that is 10 raised to 4 meter centimeter square per second, and 10 raised to 4 centimeter per second square is the strokes. So one stroke is equal to 10 raised to minus 4. One stroke is equal to. If we write this, we will get 10 raised to minus 4 meter square per second. Okay, so you can find out by putting the dimension as we discussed earlier. Putting the dimensions, you can able to find out. You can able to clear the units of uh, different atom. Okay, so this is all about today's about the viscosity. So we will stop here, and we have seen today. The temperature effect and the viscosity. We have seen the dynamic viscosity, Newton's law of viscosity, and also what is the poise, what is the stop, etc. We have seen today's lecture, and we need to study regularly to understand this subject. Uh, so we will stop today here. So I request once again all the students they should join on time uh, for the classes.